as you can see now, um, we're gonna we're gonna get prepped up. Um, one thing you're gonna notice, I have some knifeless tape going right here. Um, the main reason why this is, or why I'm using the knifeless tape, is because typically when we do one side and we had to match the other side, it it could flow a little different, just size maybe just a little bit different. This way I can match it perfectly. Because with this, what we're gonna do in part three is when we do this this hood, <clears throat> you have to really be on your mark because we're going to be taking it you know around into a little you'll see in part three of how we kind of have to maneuver this thing but if i'm not you know at the same level on both sides it's just not going to look right you're going to stare down the middle of this thing going what happened you know kind of kind of, kind of deal another critical thing is i'm getting it prepped to start getting it clean so right now you always want to kind of look at your surface you're going to want to you know with this car it's a little bit more um, defined in its spots. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna be looking at your corners, kind of seeing what you got, what things you're gonna to have to mess with when it comes down that way. Um, but yeah, when you're, when you're cleaning this thing, you just kinda of wanna look for spots or look for things that could really mess up your install. Um, but yeah, other than that, take a look and see what happens. <laughs> what I'm doing is this comes to like a point a rounded point um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of work my air around this what you want to do is you always want to work the base of it kind of get that base going first because once the base gets to where you need it to go then you're, you're good what I'm doing here is I'm pushing all my air going this way going down where it's open trying to get it to fold right around this ridge I'm going to come back later and put some heat on it to kind of secure it down, but as you can see, it, it's kind of a kind of a mold like what you would do in like a pottery. Hit it with a little more heat, and you can really see it start to, to form, and just like that. 